You asked us and we're getting answers about how much of your money is being spent to lock up illegal immigrants accused of a crime. We began investigating how much it's costing you to house and feed them after several emails you sent us. In one email, Jan Barton writes, quote, the numbers of criminals coming into our country, just Gwinnett County alone, is staggering. So we decided to take a closer look at the Gwinnett County jail population. CBS Atlanta's Michelle Marsh crunched the numbers for a story you'll only see here. Michelle? Bill, we're outside of the detention building, and I got to tell you, this is a story that everyone should care about because your tax dollars are being used to house thousands of inmates tonight. We focus on those inmates who are in this country illegally after your emails, and we calculate how much it's costing you. Taxpayers in Gwinnett County are spending $55 a day to feed and house each inmate. Inmates accused of serious crimes like murder and rape, and some of them are in the United States illegally. It's surprising information for some taxpayers. Each day, $55 per person. It makes me very upset. And, uh... I say send them back to their country of origin. Immigration reform, the subject of several recent rallies. In January, the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Department and Immigration Customs Enforcement checked all inmates for their immigration status. They found 914 inmates that were in this country illegally. Four months later, we contacted a spokesperson for the Gwinnett County Sheriff, and she says the numbers are just about the same today. So we calculated how much it's costing you. At a rate of $55 a day and with 914 undocumented immigrants behind bars, the grand total, you're paying over $50,000 per day. The numbers surge beyond the $18 million mark when you calculate the cost for an entire year. $55 is going to keep somebody in jail. They can use it for something else. Definitely use it for something else. In fact, you're paying more money to house each inmate than you're paying to educate your kids in Gwinnett County schools. $47 to educate a student each day, and again, $55 to house an inmate. Now, we should point out that the review in January, once that was conducted, the inmates who were found to be illegal or without their documentation, the deportation process did begin for them. But, of course, new inmates are constantly entering the system. We're live in Gwinnett County. Michelle Marsh, CBS Atlanta News.